What up, peeps? I decided to take Deontay Wilder on a simulated roller coaster and undisputed, throwing him against 15 heavyweight AI champs to see who the real top dog is. We're bringing out Wilder, aka Bomb Squad, with the 87 overall rating loaded with power punching stats in the 80s and 90s. So, will Wilder be knocking out every opponent like they owe him rent? Or will he hit a roadblock? Let's find out. So we're going undisputed difficulty, 12 rounds, simulation mode, let's buckle up. So we started out with Eddie Hall, and did Eddie just score a knockdown? Oh snap. But don't worry, Wilder bounces back with a knockdown of his own. Round 2 KO, Wilder wasn't here to play any games, he was just letting Eddie get some cardio in. Wilder's out here like a wrecking ball, Patterson didn't even stand a chance. Three knockdowns in the first round? And Wilder calls it a day, that's a wrap. Round one, Wilder does what he does best, dropping Joyce twice, but Joyce rallies in the second and drops Wilder. Uh-oh. But in round three, Wilder brings the thunder with a knockout so hard it'll make you wanna watch the replay. Pure entertainment. Wilder owns round one through three with multiple knockdowns and you think it's over, but nah. Morrison's chin, tougher than grandma's Thanksgiving turkey. Round four, Tommy drops Wilder. This guy doesn't know when to quit. Wilder finally finishes it in round five, but Morrison made him work for it. That's for sure. Wilder gets Bo out of there in two rounds with a body shot that'll make you wince. Someone please check if Bo has any ribs left. It's total domination, two knockdowns, and the second one had Rocky looking like he saw a ghost. Wilder sweeps this one easy. Now surprisingly, Fury takes round one, but neither got a knockdown which was interesting. But then Wilder goes full bomb squad in round three and four, landing three knockdowns to seal the deal. Fury was tough though, but Wilder got the job done. This was a battle of the bombers, and Joe wasn't giving Wilder an easy time at all. They trade knockdowns, but Joe Lewis drags Wilder into deep waters and drowns him. Wilder takes his first L, and now he's seven and one. Joe Lewis was not here to mess around. First off, Roy's given up like a whole foot in height here, but he comes in swinging. By round two, Wilder's right hand blasts through Roy's guard, and round three, game over. Roy's got heart, but Wilder's got hammers. Wilder drops Adelaide with a nasty uppercut in round one and follows up with more punishment in round two. But Adelaide fights back in round three, landing a knockdown and opening a cut on Wilder. Wilder now bleeding says, oh, it's on and closes it in round four. Wilder opens up with a body shot that puts Ali on the floor, but Ali gets up and scores a knockdown of his own in round two and three. By round five though, Wilder turns on the gas and stops Ali. The greatest put up a fight, but Bomb Squad wasn't playing. Holmes gets dropped in round one, but rallies back, dropping Wilder in round two and three. Just when Holmes starts to run away with it, Wilder lands a winning shot in round four. Holmes put up a solid fight, but Bomb Squad strikes again. Both fighters come out swinging in round one. Wilder even manages to cut Usyk. Usyk lands a knockdown in round two, and it's just a total slugfest there. These two are trading shots like it's Black Friday, but Wilder stops Usyk in the six to seal the deal. Frazier comes out hot, dropping Wilder twice in round one. He's bobbing, weaving, and blocking like a champ, making Wilder look like he's throwing punches in slow motion. Wilder eventually gets some knockdowns, but Frazier outlasts him and drops him in the six to take the win. This fight was tied at the time of the stoppage. Bruno had Wilder on the ropes, winning all three scorecards before Wilder decided enough is enough and secured the KO. Bruno gave Wilder problems, but it wasn't enough to stop the bomb squad. And my final thoughts, Deontay Wilder and Undisputed went 13 and two with only two losses, Joe Lewis and Joe Frazier best in them. This version of Wilder, it's like watching Bermain Stavern to Wilder, all power and fury. The game definitely nailed his style. This Wilder, dangerous as hell, and you don't wanna be on the receiving end. And that's it, peeps. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We are on the quest to find the best AI heavyweight and undisputed. Please comment. Let me know what you think. And all right, peeps, you know what it is. Until next time. Gia. Yeah.